Hey guys, Amber here. Just wanting to give a little update for you. I know I haven't been on the last couple days. I've just been kind of busy with some other things. One of which was, yes, I got my hair cut. For those of you who know me. And I really love it. It's a lot of fun. And it was just one of those things I, I just feel lighter now. And um, it was just time for uh, a little bit of a change for the spring. And just kind of, I see it as symbolic in a way of letting go of things that are no longer serving you. It was starting to be not in the greatest of shape anymore. And um, it was getting really heavy on my head. And I was feeling tired of the things that I had to do with it. So it was just starting to become more of a burden than a pleasure to me at this time. And I thought it was time to try something different, something I've actually never done like this before. Um, so I can wear cute headbands again now and they actually stay, so that's fun. Um, but anyway, getting on to the topic of the video, today is day 13 for me of the raw vegan cleanse and it's at the point now where I am losing track of what day I'm on and it almost doesn't even seem like a cleanse anymore. It just started to feel like this is the way that I eat. This is the way that I live now. But I will say, um, I am considering extending this and doing this for longer and just continuing this after the cleanse. But for right now, I'm just going to stay committed to the 30 days for the cleanse and continue to see how it goes and then decide what I choose to do from there. So there, I will say that there have been so many benefits right now of living this way, of eating this way. I feel, not only do I feel more alive and more energy from these live foods, but I feel more positive. Like, I almost feel like you could use this as an antidepressant of sorts. Like, if anyone is depressed or feeling down about themselves, about life, situations, different things, or maybe you don't even know why, maybe you just feel sad in general, I find eating this way has uplifted my mood so much, just tremendously, and I don't even know how to explain it or describe it. You almost just have to try it and see for yourself. But even when I have stressful situations, I feel less put off, less overwhelmed by them most of the time. Um, and I also feel better about myself, like I've been feeling like when I look in the mirror, I see almost a different person. Like I feel like I see myself in a different light or in a different way. And like I'm, I feel like I'm better able to see my own beauty than I was before. If that sound, that might sound silly, but um, and I just feel more confident and overall better about myself. I feel more excited to wake up in the morning and go about my day. Um, and something else, well, I guess first off I'll just say that, yeah, it just, I feel like it's just improved my mood and mental clarity so much. So if you, you know, if you're feeling sad or down, this might be something worth giving a try or at least you, know, you could do the 30 day trial or 21 day trial or even just a week of raw foods and just see how you feel or even just incorporating more raw foods into your diet maybe. For me personally, I'm finding that I've done raw foods mostly and then like I have raw foods all during the day and then eat cooked food at night and I find that it doesn't compare for me that I feel a lot better so far eating this way just eating pretty much all raw foods but again that's just me it's something I think we all have to experiment with Another um, effect I've noticed, because I know some people will be, might be curious about this, is weight loss. And yes, I have been trying to um, get more tone and get work on my own personal fitness and just get back in better shape. I really want to be in optimal shape. So the last, uh, well, it's been almost two weeks and I checked my weight yesterday because I try to only check it once a week. Uh, I think that's a healthy way to do it. Sorry, my cat really wants to come in. Hold on. Okay. 
and she ran away. So never mind. <laughs> Anyhow, um, going back to what I was saying, I check it on Thursdays. I do it once a week. And it looks like so far I've lost two pounds since doing this. So it's been a pound a week, which is about my goal. I think that a pound a week is a healthy goal for someone like me to work towards. And I also would like, you know, if I lose weight, I would like the weight loss to be sustainable. So I don't want to go keep going on this yo-yo diet that so many people are doing where you can lose a bunch of weight really fast, but then you gain it back really fast too. And then you lose it again, you gain it back again. You're just in this vicious cycle. And I kind of want to break out of that cycle and I don't want to do that. That's not my goal here. I want sustainable weight loss, sustainable health and fitness that I can do you know, I can maintain throughout preferably the rest of my life. And this last week, um, I mean, I brought my calorie intake back up to around 2000, which is, seems to be about what my body likes to have. Yours might be different. I think it varies on each individual. Um, I do have a fairly high activity level. I got rid of my bus pass, so I walk pretty much everywhere now and use my own body as transportation most of the time, with a few exceptions. Um, and I also usually do some kind of HIIT training, like high intensity interval training with some, uh, some strength training with weights as well as intervals of cardio. And then like yesterday I went to the gym and got on the indoor uh, bicycle and did that for about a half hour. So I don't do anything crazy, but I do get at least a half hour, some kind of, um, workout in plus all my walking. And I do that every day. Plus I also go to and practice asana or yoga regularly. So I'm not super active, but you know, I feel like I'm a pretty active person and I don't sit still a lot. I'm always up, even when I'm not actually exercising, I'm always up and doing things, stuff like that, moving around. So, you know, with that activity along with eating the amount of calories that my body seems to be asking for, of just pretty much just fruits and vegetables with like a tiny bit of nuts. And I still lost a pound, so we'll see how this goes and I'm just going to continue to ride along with the journey and share the experience with you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, please be feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and uh, like it if you like it and stay tuned for some more raw vegan cleanse and vegan yoga minimalism content on this channel. Have a great day. Peace.